Hey y'all, it's Prankin. In today's video, we're about to do a reaction to the evilness, the wickedness in the music industry. Now, I had did a video where I reacted to like the demonic rituals that rappers don't want you to see. And I'm gonna say majority of y'all liked it. And then it was about that cool little, mm, like 10% that didn't. But anywho, for those that's woke, y'all get it, y'all understand. I'm with you. And then for those that's not, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go ahead and get into this video because this is a compilation that I put together that really shows more proof. See, the thing is, and I'm gonna say this and I'm done. A lot of people don't wanna hear the truth because truth requires change. <laughs> so they don't want to, to come to the realization that this is the truth and that this is what it is because they know now there has to be some type of change, some type of, I have to die to this. I can no longer listen to this. But that's another story for another day. Don't mean to preach, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to go ahead and get into this video, y'all. You're going to do a lot to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. That's how I hmm. got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. And so I sold my soul to the devil. Well, needless to say, sold my soul. I'm sorry, I'll like the you. Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. And so I sold my soul to the devil. Well, needless to say, Sold my soul. I swear to listen for I sold my soul to the devil. Why is your hand over your eye? Because <laughs> I'm a devil worshiper. What are you talking about? Roman is. That was real. <laughs> you all know what they talk about. I'm not. I'm not about to do it. But I will say this: the most recent rapper that's done it is uh, what's her name? Glorilla, I think is her name. Gl I don't listen to the music no more, so I'm sorry if I'm a little, little out of touch with the music industry, but these people just, I, they, they just say it. They, they throw it out there. They're not saying this to be funny, but a lot of people be like, oh, they're joking. The one thing about me, I ain't joke when it came to stuff like that. Never in my life. That's crazy. A crazy boy who lives in me and he says the things that I don't want to say. That's he crazy. He threatens to beat people and he's violent. What was your bargain to get where I am now? Should I ask who you made the bargain with? With the chief commander. And in this earth and in, uh, and in a world we can't see. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. People think that this stuff is just a game. There's a they reason do. why you see people dressed up as Satan. Not just, you know, like Satan slipping himself in a little bit. No, full on visuals Out there. of Satan, people dressed as Satan, you know, dressed as a demon, got upside down crosses all on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes. And people are just like, oh, that's funny. It's, you know, we're making fun. No, there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that, y'all. They know good and doggone well that God exists. That's also the know that crazy Satan part is that they know what they're doing. Now, do the artists may not know what they're doing? Eh, I, I will give it some leeway. Some may not realize what they're doing, but it's like... I don't believe in coincidence is what I'm trying to say. All this stuff aligns and <laughs> it's crazy because the people that's basically the mastermind of this, they know what they're doing. They know the agenda that they're pushing out. The artists, again, they may not know or they may know at this point, they don't care because what it was at the end of the day was selling what they sold for fame and fortune, selling what they sold, selling they soul for temporary pleasure, selling a soul for things that you cannot take up with you when you die. Y'all don't hear me. They're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that. But either way, the things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you. Whether you realize it in the moment or not, they affect you, that's why they do it. Entertainment industry, it's about influence. Jesus is my example, he is the one that I want to be like. I have accepted Yahusha. that Jesus paid the wages of my sin on that cross when Yahusha. he was crucified. I love God. And I love his son, Jesus Yahuwah. Christ. And I try my best to live my life according to his word. I try my best. I already know where James I'm going. 122. I if I warn you of the danger that I know is waiting down there, and you still choose to go in that direction, I'm not mad at you. I don't hate you. It don't even affect me. But if you end up in trouble, just know that I tried. You can't blame me. And guess who else you can't blame? God. Because I've heard so many people say, oh, I, I, no, I don't believe in God because he ain't never tried to show me no sort of sign. Really? How'd you come in contact with this video? Oh, you oh, phone, 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 hey, phone. she a cold piece. <laughs> Hey, this, this this is the sign right here, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, it's just to a point where it's nothing sugar coated. Nothing sugar coated this generation no more, y'all. Everything is out there. Like you'd be crazy to ignore this stuff, and then you have people that's like, bro, these aren't devil worshippers. They're not selling their soul. Oh, really? 
Because it sounds like you you got your, your degree in this, so you go ahead and break it down for us then. Because I know I'm going to have some people in the comment section, because I always do, but it's okay. I, I know what it is. I know what I signed up for. I know what I'm getting myself into. A friend or a family member just happened to send it to you out of the blue. The, mm. uh, the only time I'm really good at rapping is when my back is against the wall. Mm. So That's my back was ever. against the wall, and I was running through my beats and shit like that, and I say, boom, got the Bible on the back. I say, man... As a jit coming up, me and my the he old heads, that? I used to be grabbing a little. Huh? Hey, but I, you know what I'm coming saying? I'm gonna say some shit, you know what I'm not saying? The, not like the people that pee the spiritual on Spiritual world is real. I cut oh, chickens and goats. That's how I bet the case. If you really want to know. Say that again. Say it again. I cut chickens and goats if you really want to know. Santeria, make some noise for being <laughs> voodoo. Listen, voodoo. <laughs> That man said, make some noise for voodoo. This man just straight up said that he did voodoo to beat the case. And the man said, are they, like, this a podcast? Are they on a radio show to make some noise? I'm not making no noise for that. Say it again. Say it again. I cut chickens and goats if you really want to know. Santeria, make some noise for being voodoo. Listen, voodoo. And I just you know, component is Haitian. Now, I mean, I know you done had a few near-death experiences. Yeah. And my question would be, is it because you had the Bible on the dash that you survived? Um, yeah, I got to say it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, 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 and the voodoo that I do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I done seen the voodoo. The, the, the goats I sacrificed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the chickens and the hens and the pigeons and the doves. You know what I mean? And my Orishas, Shango, F.I.A. Goon. You know what it is. I review. <laughs> I don't know what he so just So I guess spoke. Megan went from demon time to just full on demon, huh? She said forget it and just went all in, huh? Hot girl, hot girl summer, that is demon not time. It. Now she just said forget it and just said let me just turn myself into a complete demon. Is it me or is it like the more demonic you get, the more you blow up in the music industry? You got exactly Playboy Cardi making clothes with upside down crosses. You got Lil Uzi Vert saying that you're going to hell with him. You got Billie Eilish saying that Lucifer is inside of her. What? All these years has been hidden satanic imagery in videos. I remember pausing videos on certain demonic parts. We had to actually look for it. Now they're not hiding anymore. What I say? Now they're just blatantly putting it out there. I you want to know why? Because now stuff like... Like what I said, they used to have to water down these things. They used to have to sugarcoat. Now you hide the truth in plain sight. That is a cold line. Let me say it one more time for y'all that didn't hear me. You hide the truth in plain sight, meaning you say it as a joke. You you try to, every, you know, you could always water down some truth with a joke. Remember, but just, I'm going to say this. It's always truth in the joke. So don't get it twisted. And the, the, the movie that comes to my mind or the show is... uh. The Inside Job. If you guys never seen that, I highly recommend to go watch it. Because again, it's going to be people that's like, it's just a cartoon show. Okay. For y'all, it's just a cartoon show. But for those that's, you know what I'm saying, that's in, tapped into what this world is doing, y'all realize that it's truth in the jokes, the cartoons. However the world wants to slip in their truth, it's truth in it. Don't sleep on this stuff. Hey y'all something, for the people who see things like this and still decide to listen to these people, you are making a decision. You are choosing a path. Come it's on. not hidden anymore. Come it's on. right in your face. Come on. When you see somebody exploiting the devil and you still decide to give them your ear, you are coming into agreement with that person. You and are. you are inviting evil in. You Remember are. That. <laughs> like, I it's, it's, uh, it's not a thing of I'm trying to convince you guys. It's just I'm trying to put the truth out there. You have to understand, I was somebody that was heavy on music. Oh, I got some artists that I would want to listen to right now. I do. I can name a couple. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't mention a few concerts. But that's done away with when you realize what these people are doing. Y'all know, I'm going to say this. For those that know me from the Perky Honeybee channel, which we will be coming back. I just want to let y'all know that. I just don't know when. I can't put a date on it. In our intro, it was Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Y'all know that's the Scissor song, right? We used to be heavy on Scissor, especially when that song dropped. Oh, that was that was the one. But then you hear Scissor talk about how she does seances and rituals before she does her music. And then if you guys watch, like everything I'm saying, I, I promise you I proved to back myself. I'm going to say this and then I'm done because I'm just on SZA right now because SZA was the intro of our um, YouTube channel. She has this song that I was in love with, Hit Different. Hit Different. I am about to get into it. Y'all know, go look it up. Hit Different. 
the song is just about how a person, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like this person just hit different. They vibe is unmatchable. I ain't never seen something like you in my life. I ain't never felt nothing like this before, right? Also, also on some chill stuff. But in the music video, she got blood on her. She went horses and I think it's horse blood. What do that got to do with somebody hitting different? Somebody vibe being different. Why do you have, y'all go check it out. But again, some people going to just, you're, you're reaching. No, I'm not reaching. I'm probably preaching. You just don't want to hear the truth because the truth requires you to change. The truth requires you to give up some stuff. That's why people sit in ignorance because they don't want to, they don't want to change. They don't want to let go of some stuff that they tightly cling on to but it's I'm, I'm gonna say this and i'm done i promise y'all i'm done what you don't destroy what you don't let go what you don't break will break you will destroy you will kill you will eliminate you <laughs> i just i just want y'all to hear what i'm saying if that makes sense what you don't kill what you don't eliminate will kill and eliminate you but, you know, that's another story. But I love and appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Please go ahead and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see next in the comment section down below. All my social media is in the description. Y'all see it right here on the screen. On the road to 700,000 people. Oh, my gosh. I cannot thank you guys enough for allowing this blessing to continue to be a blessing. And I want to say all praises, infinite honors to my Lua Yahuwah, my Adonai Yahushua, Hamashiach for a blessing with everything as a whole. They're the reason on why y'all get videos like this. He want his people woken up is what I'm trying to say. So infinite honors to them. I'm just a vessel that they're using in and through. So I got to give credit and honor where it's due. But y'all know me. Y'all have a blessed one and I will see y'all in the next one. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul.